is the solemnity of Mary, the Holy Mother of God. It is the octave day of Christmas. On the first day of these eight days, we celebrated the birth of Christ. Yesterday, we honored the Holy Family, and today we honor Mary as Mother of God. We may also be enjoying an octave of celebrations with family and friends today over what we often hear called the holidays. Today is a good opportunity to do as Mary did, taking all that has happened and reflecting on it in our hearts. Today's Mass is applied for the repose of the soul of Barbara Coglin. Our Mass will begin momentarily. Once again, welcome. Happy New Year, everyone. Please stand. As we begin our liturgy, please join in singing number 87, Angels We Have Heard on High. 87, we will sing verses 1 and 4. Verse 1 and 4. In extra. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. A Happy New Year, everyone. As we continue the celebration of Christmas in the octave day, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are Son of God and Son of Mary. Lord, have mercy. You are the Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Christ, have mercy. And you are the way and the truth and the life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of Blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience her intercession through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, this is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
let all the nations praise your name. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Through the words of the gospel, may our sins be wiped away. So good to be with everyone from our three parish communities and beyond, Our Lady of Mount Carmel, St. Adalbert, and St. Paul the Apostle, for our joint mass honoring Mary, the Holy Mother of God. I was commenting to a few of you as you entered we could have had this Mass at 5.30 in the morning. When I'm ready, I turn the heat on, and uh, I'd say maybe five or six of you would be here at that hour because you just went to bed three hours before from all your partying and reveling the night before, right? <laughs> just kidding. You know, we made it uh, through to another year, praise God, 2024. And do you remember 24 years ago today, Y2K? And for the benefit of those uh, who are seeing this on TV for the first time, I don't know if they've heard this story, but I remember 24 years ago coming home for the Christmas break from seminary. My father had an old Cadillac DeVille in the garage, 1967, about a half a block long compared to today's matchbox cars that they manufacture. <laughs> and with this long car, I remember my mother had all these Mott's apple juice containers filled up with water, all lined up along this gold Cadillac, just in case the water stopped, and just in case the computer stopped functioning, and that everything would stop on January 1st, 2000. So you gotta trust in the Lord, Ma, trust in the Lord. And praise God, nothing happened of anything like the sort on January 1, 2000, and certainly not 2024, Mott's Apple Juice Day. 
<laughs> In a real sense, I recall today the work of Helen Keller and especially her teacher, Anne Sullivan. Helen Keller was both blind and deaf. And I wonder before the Lord, how would she have ever been able to learn to communicate in the English language with all of the difficulty of not being able to see or hear? Her family dropped her off to the school and wanted her to have the best education possible. And Anne Sullivan was the teacher of Helen Keller. And Anne Sullivan was able to teach her Braille by pointing to her hand and working with the gestures that are necessary for her to learn to communicate in the English language. And Helen Keller was so brilliant that she would learn not just the English language, but she was also proficient in several other foreign languages as well, I believe German and Latin, and maybe a few others. How was it that Anne Sullivan was able to open up a vista or a world to Helen Keller and that we have the contributions that we do from Helen Keller? I like to see the Word of God, the Lagos, as something that has been opened up to us by sacred scripture and the witness of the Blessed Mother. That we need the witness of the tradition, meaning the saints and all those who have walked in the way of the Lord, to be able to open for us a blindness that gives us a path and vision of faith. Because like it or not, we have to admit this, we may be able to see with our eyes, but we could still be blind in faith. So to prevent that, we need an Ann Sullivan ourselves as a teacher. And of course, that is Jesus Christ, that teacher to open up the heart to a vision of a loving mother, one who gives us an expressive feeling and a devotion for us. As we think back to the contributions of our own mothers and fathers too, but especially our mothers in our lives, we got used to hearing her voice from the very beginning. And our mothers taught us many things about life and about the ways of God. And we would still be blind if not for the contribution of mothers and fathers and people in our lives. But the Lagos is the word. And though today's gospel discusses the presentation of our Lord Jesus and the work of the parents of our Lord, the gospels often talk about how Jesus is the word made flesh, not just now, but from the beginning, of course in the present, and always. The word has always been, and the word was God, is God and always will be God. How then do we open up the vista of our mind through the teaching of sacred scripture and the tradition of the church to open up that possibility to see with eyes of faith? I wish to offer you the words and teaching of St. John Chrysostom. Rejoice then, mother in heaven, maiden and cloud, Virgin and throne, the boast and foundation of our church, plead earnestly for us, Blessed Mother, that through you we may obtain mercy on the day of judgment and attain the good things reserved for those who love God through the grace and love of our Lord Jesus Christ, to whom, with the Father and the Holy Spirit, be glory, power, and honor, now and forever and for all eternity. That is the ending of most of our prayers in the church, that we lift our praise to Heavenly Father, asking him to be merciful, for our, hear our prayers, to hear our supplications, that we pray with the church, that we have been good students of the word, not just in the mind, 
but also in the heart, that our eyes have been opened to the reality of faith, the holy family of Jesus, Mary and Joseph, but especially our Blessed Mother. As the Mother of Christ and the Mother of God, God-bearer Theotokos, she brings forth through her witness as a teacher and as a mother a way that we can live our lives so that we may be in eternal communion with Heavenly Father. Just as we are in communion together here now, and we do not fear, not the year 2000 or the year 2024, we give blessings to God for all the gifts that we've been given in 2023. And on this octave day of Christmas, may we understand that we are asked to be teachers of the faith with those who are blind, so that we may lead others to a favorable judgment before God, that his eyes are always shining on you and I, the church, desiring that we be faithful in our witness and faithful as the family of God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us unite our prayers together to our loving Mother and God our Father. For the Church, that we may be like Mary, treasuring God's words and deeds in our hearts and drawing wisdom from them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace and healing within nations, that leaders and all who hold public office may faithfully fill their duties to promote peace on this world day of peace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For God's blessing on the new year, that God will renew the gifts of the Spirit within us, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are ill, that God will bring healing to the sick, strength to caregivers, and health to all of us, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For saying yes to God, and reflecting on the Word of God in our hearts, especially for those discerning a call to priesthood or consecrated life in the Diocese of Albany, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the dead, that God's face will shine upon them and give them eternal peace in God's presence, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the prayers of our hearts that we hold this day, we ask these prayers through Christ, our Lord.
God and holy is your name. Your mercy reaches to the end of time. Abba, holy, you raise with compassion and the proud heart have no part of you. Ah, how you fill the holy with your love. With Let us pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on this feast day of the blessed ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. created rightly gives you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and working of the holy spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore O lord we humbly implore you by this same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, 
and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Edward Scharfenberger, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, most merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance into your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, everyone. Peace be with you.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. singing Hail Mary, Gentle Woman, number 707, 707.
body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. On this day, O oh beautiful mother, can be found in the breaking bread. The body of Christ. Number 703. The body of Christ. 703. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray that it may lead us to eternal life, for we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever Virgin Mary, mother of your Son and mother of the Church, through Christ our Lord. I can share with you one last time, legitimately, Merry Christmas, everyone, since this is the octave day and a very blessed 2024 with great joys and peace from the good Lord. You take good care. Have a great rest of your day and week. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Our recessional song is number 531. Let there be peace on earth. 531.
take right. let Happy New Year, Vic. My Many blessings. Vow, to take each moment and live.